As this historic moment plays out, some Minnesotans are just trying to keep their lives as normal as possible. Going to work, running errands, taking their kids to school. Well, tonight, Boyd Hooper brings us their perspective. This is what unity looks like. During tense times, some voices are amplified. April justice in the town. But not all. We got rib tips, pork chop sandwiches. Dennis Williamson was too busy to watch opening statements. Beef polishes. Busy fundraising basketball tournament fees for some neighborhood kids while breathing in smoke and worry. I worry about my city having self-destruction again. Reminders just down the street of things he'd never imagined seeing. Need justice. And still struggles to understand. It's just like no, nobody valued, they didn't value his life. Quiet also sounds good at the bus stop. That's true. Where Latanya Richards awaited her ride. I am staying away from downtown. I don't want. I don't want to see any riots or marches and stuff like that. I don't want to be caught in the crossfire. But don't mistake her avoidance of conflict with indifference. What I seen on the tape was murder. Some will protest. Uriel Kane. Yeah. Will pray. So that's that's what I can hold on to. A pastor yeah. spending day one of the trial with her grandson, crazy. Sabia. Yeah, we've been talking about it. A grandmother's confident calm has rubbed off. No, I wouldn't say I'm anxious about it. I'm just seeking for something better to happen um, with the future. Easy to miss the quiet voices. How are you today? But important to hear the deep convictions. Justice would be for men doing the right thing because that's what God would want, the right thing. Boyd Hooper. Yeah. Carol Evan News, Minneapolis.